Welcome to our channel. Today, we'll be discussing an important and often misunderstood condition known as neuromyelitis optica, or NMO. Neuromyelitis optica is a rare autoimmune disorder that primarily affects the spinal cord and the optic nerves. This condition is sometimes confused with multiple sclerosis, but it has distinct characteristics that set it apart. In NMO, the body's immune system mistakenly attacks healthy cells, specifically targeting the myelin sheath, the protective covering around nerve fibers. When this protective sheath is damaged, nerve signals are disrupted, leading to a variety of symptoms. One of the hallmark symptoms of NMO is optic neuritis, which can cause blurred vision, loss of vision, or even pain in one or both eyes. This can significantly impact a patient's quality of life. Another common symptom is longitudinally extensive transverse myelitis, or LETM, which is inflammation of the spinal cord. This inflammation can lead to symptoms such as weakness in the limbs, bladder and bowel dysfunction, and severe pain. In some cases, patients may experience a complete loss of mobility. The symptoms can vary widely from person to person, and they may not appear all at once. The diagnosis of NMO can be challenging. Tests often include magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, to visualize lesions in the spinal cord and brain, as well as blood tests to identify the presence of specific antibodies, particularly the aquaporin-4 antibody. This antibody is found in most patients with NMO and is a key factor in making a diagnosis. It's essential for healthcare providers to differentiate NMO from multiple sclerosis, as their management and treatment differ significantly. There are two main forms of NMO, NMO spectrum disorder and classic NMO. NMO spectrum disorder includes those who have an incomplete version of NMO, meaning they may have some symptoms but not all the criteria for a complete diagnosis. This points to the need for ongoing research, as understanding NMO helps in developing more effective treatments. Speaking of treatment, managing NMO is an evolving field. Acute attacks may be treated with corticosteroids to reduce inflammation quickly. Long-term management often requires immunosuppressive therapies to prevent future relapses. Treatments may include medications like azathioprine, rituximab, or mycophenolate mofetil. Research into new therapies is ongoing, and many clinical trials aim to find more effective management options for both relapse prevention and recovery. Living with NMO can be incredibly challenging, both physically and emotionally. Support from healthcare providers, as well as mental health professionals, can be invaluable in managing the psychological impact of this condition. Support groups and community resources can also help patients find connection and information tailored to their experiences. As we continue to learn more about neuromyelitis optica, it's crucial to raise awareness and understanding of the disorder. Patients experiencing unexplained neurological symptoms should consult with a healthcare professional for a comprehensive evaluation. Early diagnosis and treatment can lead to better outcomes and quality of life. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and share it with friends or family who may benefit from learning more about NMO. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational content on various health topics. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay informed and take care of your health.